for today's test drive, we got a 1963 Chevy Biscayne. She's in good shape. It's got a good wrench 350. Does not have power steering or power brakes. Does have a couple of upgraded pulleys there. A lot of chrome. So we got a little bit of a leak here on the antifreeze gasket on the top of the motor. Aluminum radiator, two electric fans. Okay. Looking at the outside here, set of craggers. Drum brakes all the way around. A lot of cool looking trim. Everything looks clean. Dual exhaust coming out the back. Looks like newer pipes. Guys, we're going to be taking this thing down the road, pointing out flaws. So you know what you're getting before you get here. I do this on every vehicle here at Maple Motors. Be sure to check us out, maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping available on all the rides. Best thing to do, hit subscribe and share this video too. That's going to help me out. Let's put that tie. Let's go for a ride. Got a nice interior, nice dash on this one. Very classy looking. I love these seats. Hypnotizing. Kick panels with speakers in them. Aftermarket gauges. Let's shift it out. <laughs> Back seat looks good. Package trays decked out too. We're playing cards. In this one. All right, let's start it up. Sweet. Good oil pressure. We're charging. Engine temperature's on its way up. Blower motor. I don't know if it's working or not. Can't tell. I think blower motor's going to need work on this one. Nope. Wipers? Yeah. Work fast. Got some custom tint here. Turn signals? They're cutting on. Showing 90,000 miles on the dash there. Oh, we got a quarter tank. Great. I don't have to stop and get gas today. Radio? Turn that one on. Hit this. CD player in the glove box. It looks like it's on there. We'll at least try to get some static or something. Pandora, Spotify, Bluetooth, Ox, FM. Here we go. Okay. We're jamming, so it is working. What's this? hooked up to something switch under the dash or something there horn did you place your bets we're gonna try it out they never hooked the horn up and there's no other buttons let's hit the road see how she runs a drive what's up we're getting ready to take off down the road Got some custom diamond plate mats in the back. That's kind of cool. We'll show those in the walk around. Okay. Let's go ahead and take off down the road and see what we can find here. Here's our reverse. Neutral and driver. working on this one a little bit of slack in the steering there and there of course no power steering on this one left pull from the front end see you're drifting speedometer's fast on this one too it's not reading correct tighten my mirror up kick down is hooked up on this one Getting in our brakes. 
brakes actually feel pretty smooth. I'm trying to set up my mirrors. None of them were set up right. Luckily, nobody's behind us. Okay. Go ahead, pull down in the parking lot here. We went over here the other day. They was working on this building called Big Play. It's like a fun center. Man, we went there last night. They had some fast go-karts. They weren't like super fast, but they were definitely fast for an indoor track. If you're local, I do suggest going in there and checking it out. The place is pretty cool. They had like an unlimited game card. Suspension on this thing. Not bad. Little speed bumps in the parking lot. Where we at? 10. Speedo's not reading right anyways. Here about 10. Not too bad. All right. It's pretty smooth. I like this car. It's like driving a boat. We'll use the parking lot though. I asked them last night and they said, yeah, I don't care. They knew who we were and everything. So thanks big play for letting us use your parking lot today. We're going to go here after work and actually race the go-karts. Everybody from my motors. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right. Let's get these outside shots. I want to light up the undercarriage. And then we're going to end with picking out the flaws. I'll be back. Oh, engine temperature is up. It's right at 190. Okay, so so far we've been in the parking lot cruising. Engine temperature's good. And uh, what I thought was cool was the Sharp Hook Hendersonville bait location is here. I'm gonna go inside there and check it out because I go fishing like once a week, pretty much religiously. <laughs> and I know the guys really well in there. So I'm gonna pick up some stuff today. And then we're gonna come out here and pick out the flaws chips, scratches, rust dents, 
under the hood and the trunk interior on this ride. I'll be right back. Okay, so Sharp Hook, they advertise to have a lot of stuff that most people won't, like your local places. Definitely check them out right here in the heart of Hendersonville, right next to the big play place that we went last night. And I honestly recommend that too. Let's go in here and look around for a second. Looks like they got some shootouts, a crappie event. Okay. Middle Tennessee Bass Tournament. The owner? What's up, man? What's up? How are you? I'm pretty good. 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 Checking your shop out real quick. I was next door. Yeah, come on He's in. He's got a bunch of live bait, which is cool. I picked up a few things like catfishing here. Just endless lures. Poles, mad cat stuff. Just check it out. If you're local, this is the spot. That looks great. Definitely gonna stop by after work, pick up some catfish and stuff for tonight. All right, so picking out the flaws is coming up right now. We gotta open the hood, open the trunk, and get started. This view right here is awesome. It looks sweet in this car. I like it. I'm gonna fix this mirror before we take off though. Maybe. Spin it, spin it. Let's go this way. Maybe I won't fix it. It won't come to me. That mirror needs attention. Let's just say that. This one needs to be tightened too, but I can see perfect out of it since I adjusted it. Um, oil pressures, man. It's like 50. Engine temperature still 190. I flip this switch on and I still don't know what's going on with it. Electric fans do work. Checked all that stuff. Oh yeah, y'all's reverse. Want me going reverse real fast or something? I'm trying to remember that for all the videos. I think I missed it on the last. There's no wine. <laughs> This guy's tripping out though. Why are you driving that thing in reverse? I don't know. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Running and driving wise, this thing's pretty smooth. Gas gauge is floating around, run the half tank back and forth. Do gotta manually flash your left turn signal. The right one seems to do it by itself. Turn signal lever is kinda loose, but it's working like it's supposed to. Okay. Well, I say the right one's working, but it won't hold itself up. So you gotta hold it up and it will flash. Our brakes.
floating down the road. Again, the speedo is off. I seen some comments. Guy was like, you were doing 60 in a neighborhood. I was like, I'd never do that. But like this one, I'm gonna say we're running about 35. It says 50, 55. So that's that's pretty significantly off on the speedometer. And they are manual brakes, but they're stopping just fine. Bump in the road here. We'll float across it. Here we go. And then I'll put in a car lot here. All right, guys, I gotta move some cones, but I do appreciate you watching the video. Uh, a lot of y'all been paying attention too. Y'all come to the lot and say, I don't park in front of the gate. Don't park in front of the gate. That's hard to get cars in and out. We put some signs out there to uh, remind you as well. But be sure to stick around. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. And I got more videos to do today. So you're going to see more test drives from Maple Motors. Go ahead, gotta start up front here. Little stain there. Pitting on top. Grill on this one does not look bad. <clears throat> Coming down this side. Little bubble there in the corner. Little cracks in here behind the bumper. Chip there. Chip here. scratch and chip here touch up marks spot there hitting on your handle chip there got some tape over here look at that Why is the question. Tape that trim together, that's why. It's not waterproof tape. Spot here. Spot there. Touch up marks. Mirror looks good. Dang, I didn't even notice the silver until just now. Huh, that looks kind of good actually. Ship there. I should have went ahead and went on down, fixed all this. A little ding right there. You got. They did that pretty smooth, that's silicone or some kind of sealant around the window. They did it pretty smooth, really. 
And if it works, it works. Little spots there. Chip here. Chips there. Like scratch on the window here. This guy was pretty good with lines. Look at the tent. Huh. Couple little cracks. Seal. Little chips up there on top. Coming up on the back here. Looks like it's sticking out a little. <laughs> we got a lot of this uh, diamond plate, especially in the trunk here. A little chip there. Carpeted trunk, little carpeted walls there. What's going on? I think they glued. They glued it all. Okay. Well, it, if you need to use it, you have to pull it apart. <laughs> What'd they use? Okay, so they just use 3M double-sided tape. I'd assume that's what it is. It's pretty strong. VFL audio. Never heard of that. Maybe it's good. I noticed it was jamming in there when I turned it on. It sounded like it had a little extra bass too. A little hazy here. Scratches on the end. A little bit of pitting. Coming on down. Slight bubbles. She shut. A little pitting on that emblem in the back. <laughs> little spots there. All right, coming down this side. Got some chips in your trim here. Got a light scratch at the bottom. Scuff there. Bubbles in the corner of the door. You got some marks up here on the front. Little dings there in the front on that trim, chips. Chip here. On the inside of that door. A little bit of pitting on the door handle, it's not bad. There's a small dent right here above the emblem in the back.
and over the top of the fender. Little marks there. Chip here. Up there on top. Little ding. Same thing happening on this side. Big spots that have been touched up. Around the mirror too. scratch there made it around the outside all right let's go ahead and check out the interior yeah I've noticed since I've been sitting here there's a lot of people going in and out of this paint shop already uh, when I was doing the video out in the park a lot I noticed people pulling in and pulling out get their stuff hit the light I've done it a few times so far and everything's worked out good I like the door panels. I like the interior. That's kind of cool, man. That's totally different. The floor a little bit dirty there, didn't it? Yeah, look what they did back here. That's kind of cool. I mean, it works, but it looks like those edges are digging in the carpet, so you shouldn't get cut or anything. I mean, who's barefoot in a car anyways? All right. Memphis. That's good. That's also probably why it sounded so good in this car. They upgraded the stereo system. Let's see. I was going to see if it was in lock position. I could use it without the key. Upside down there. Emma, I got the right key. <clears throat> I thought it was a big square key. I was wrong. Let's go turn this on, or maybe off. I don't. I don't know. We'll try to figure out what that is. The spot in there is trying to pull out. It's all sleep on this. Coming from down there on the little donut. Fans are on. not even hooked up. Is it that simple? Probably not. BFL Audio. 
Got some nice cables. And it actually looks pretty good. I like that cable. Chip here in the corner. Touch that mark. Your emblem's a little bit hazy on this one, a little pitted. Chip. There's a dent on the hood. Couldn't see it from the other direction. Look. Trying to make it pop up. See it right there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We've done a full walk around. Be sure to check out the detailed pictures, the finance options, and the shipping options at maplemotors.com. That's going to be the best option for getting information as well. Um, there's a bio about us. There's bios on all the cars. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, share. If you want to pick up some merchandise, it's also available on the website or in the link below. So check that description. See y'all later.